Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be making a delicious chicken dish. It's going to be a tangy apricot pecan chicken. So I hope you'll stay tuned. So glad you stay tuned for this. So today I'm going to show you how to make this apricot chicken. So we're going to need some thinly sliced skinless chicken breast. I'm not really sure how many's in here, but three to four. And to prepare this chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat on. And I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, grape seed. You can use olive oil or any kind of oil you like. I have the grape seed. So I'm just gonna drizzle that in the pan, just enough to coat the bottom, not an excessive amount. I'm gonna let that heat up while we prepare the chicken. So, I've already measured out a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, and that's going to go into a zipper bag. And then I've measured out and mixed together a teaspoon of ground red pepper, um, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of onion powder, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I've mixed all that together, and I'm going to mix it in with the flour. I'm just going to give that a good shake. And so I'm just going to add my thinly sliced chicken breast. If you have larger ones, you can um, you know, split them yourself. I'm just going to shake one at a time, just to lightly coat it. This is not a heavy fried chicken. We just want a slight batter. So shake it off, add it to the pan. Gonna pull off this little skin here. Okay, that's starting to heat up. So yeah, there was four. So four thinly sliced skinless chicken breasts. Shake that off. Like I said, you just want it covered, but you don't want it heavily crusted because we're not making fried chicken. We just want a slight crust on this. And the last piece. Okay, so I've got all four pieces in the pan. So I'm going to clean this up right here and wash my hands. And what we need to do is brown this on both sides, probably about four minutes each side, and let it get a good golden brown, and then we'll make the sauce for this. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I've had this cooking for about four minutes on about medium heat, so I'm going to flip these. Just, um, I get it. There we go. Okay, just a light golden brown is what we're looking for. And we are going to let this simmer in the sauce for a little bit. So it will cook thoroughly and they're thin sliced. So it shouldn't take very long to cook at all. You see how they're cooked on this side? So I'm gonna let these cook for about another four minutes and I'm gonna take them out and we'll make our sauce. But while we're just cooking this, we'll just chat a little bit. So. I hope you are enjoying the channel. I'm having fun making the videos for you. I enjoy cooking. It's something that I enjoy doing. I love crafting. I love loom knitting and crocheting. So I hope to do some more of those projects. They're a little more difficult to film than the cooking ones, but they are fun to do and they are things I enjoy doing. And there's some other, you know, craft things that I want to do as well. I have some, um, I have a rocking chair on the front porch that I want to make into a planner. It has some sentimental value. I just can't bear to throw it away. It was my father's rocking chair. It sat on our front porch for years. We had a big screened in front porch and we spent many spring and summer nights after dinner 
we would go out on the front porch with our iced tea and just sit on the porch and it was screened in so we didn't have to worry about the mosquitoes and all that. But I remember when we said we were going to the front porch, all the kids would race to see who got that rocking chair. And, you know, so if you got there first, you got the rocking chair and that was just the chair that you sat in. Um, that was the seat of honor on the front porch. <laughs> And so we set, we spent many nights out there. So you were lucky if you got to the rocking chair, and you know you were kind of mad, and sometimes you'd sulk if you didn't get it or whatever. But you know, you know how kids are. But that was just a fun time. I loved sitting there on the front porch with my family after dinner, drinking our iced tea, and just you know discussing the day. That was just something special in my childhood, and that rocking chair just holds a deep meaning for me and I didn't want to throw it away. So I hope soon that I can. It's not safe to sit in anymore. It's really um, declining in the structural um, security of the chair. So I thought I would just repurpose it. So that way I'm not throwing it away, but I don't just have a piece of junky furniture that's not going to be used. So I hope you will stay tuned for that video. And then... Um, you know, I have a nightstand that we are no longer using, so I'm hoping to kind of refinish that and then, um, maybe sell it or, I don't know, use it for something else in the house, but, um, I'm new at the furniture thing, so we'll go through that process together. So those are some things that I have planned. So, yeah, so anyway... Let me finish browning this chicken, and then we'll be right back to make the sauce. So please stay tuned. Okay, this has been browning for about four minutes on this side. So I'm going to take them out. They're not done yet, but that's a nice golden brown there. That was the effect we were going for. Okay, so I'm going to remove this, and we're going to make our sauce. And then we're going to put the chicken back in the sauce. It's very pretty golden brown here. All right. So I'm just going to set this aside for our sauce. What we're going to need is about equal parts of barbecue sauce and apricot preserves. So what I'm going to do to this pan that we just cooked the chicken in. I'm gonna use the rest of this barbecue sauce. You can use any brand. We have a homemade version that we use, but I don't have any right now. And that's okay, just keep that oil in there. I'm gonna let that sit on the lid to kind of get down to the bottom. I'm going to add some apricot. I'm not measuring, just as close to equal parts as you can. And if you're going to err on the side of uh, a little bit more of one, probably the preserves. And I like to use a vinegar base barbecue sauce when I can, but I didn't have that available. So I'm going to add a little bit of the apple cider vinegar, and I'm about done. I got that in there. All right, let's see if I can get the rest of this out. And I may put a few more preserves in there. Okay. That's done. I am going to put a little more preserves. Just kind of wing it, and if I come up with the precise measurements, I will put that. I'm planning on making a cookbook. So all the recipes that you see me demonstrating here, I will have them in a cookbook for you. So stay tuned for that, and I hope you will order that. All right, so we got everything in here. So we're just going to heat this up and let the preserves kind of melt. And then we've got some pecans. 
and I'm probably going to use about half a cup. Oh no, I have the quarter cup where I measured the flour. So yeah, about half a cup. I don't know, I'm bad about just winging stuff and I know some people need the measurements. Okay, so I'm going to let this cook for about a minute. Oh, smells so good. I love, some people don't like the way vinegar smells. I mean, it does have that smell, but I think it smells good in it. When you're using it, it kind of makes you think, oh, something good's going on in the kitchen, you know. Okay, just let that simmer for a minute. So yeah, so things I've got coming up are some DIYs. I'm going to repurpose some furniture. Hopefully it will turn out. And I've got a cookbook that I'm working on. Hopefully, I'm not going to make any promises. I would love to have it done by Christmas, but I'm not going to promise that because that's a big task to take on. I might can do a short version of one, I don't know, or something you can download. That, you know, just so you could have some Christmas gifts or whatever. So, maybe, but I'm working on it. It's in the works. If not, I hope I have it by next Mother's Day. Alright. So, those are some things. And I've got some luminating ideas and some crocheting ideas. All kinds of cooking recipes. So... This channel has a lot that we are going to be doing soon, and I hope you will stay tuned for that and that you enjoy these videos. If you do, the best thing you can do to support me is to make sure you are liking, watching the videos from beginning to end, sharing the videos if you find value in them, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. We're getting up there. So we need a few more subscribers and then we can have a URL that we can share with everybody to bring them to the channel. So please subscribe, share with your friends, ask them to subscribe because we have a lot more coming as far as cooking and DIYs and crafts. So next, this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to return the chicken to this lovely sauce. And I'm going to cover it with the sauce as best I can here. And then I'm going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes. And that chicken should be nice and done. And then we'll plate it up and we'll show you the end results. So I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Okay, that's been simmering for 10 minutes. It smells delicious. Look how that's caramelized in there. It's going to be good. So I'm going to plate it up. And then we're going to spoon all that on top of the chicken. And we are going to have a tasty main course. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try this. This chicken turns out so tender. That um, vinegar, it caramelizes, well, it tenderizes the meat and then the uh, preserves. Let me get some of that spray here. With the barbecue sauce, it caramelizes. And then the pecans just gives it that crunch. I really hope you try this. And this is one that's going to be in my cookbook when I do get it published, which I hope it's sooner than later. All right, so let's spoon this on top. Mmm, look at all that caramelized pecans. And if you don't want the pecans, you don't have to use it. You could also use um, sliced almonds. I do have a chicken almondine that I cook. I might share that one later that I do use almonds for and I'm going to be making a smothered green bean almondine 
we'll, we'll have slivered onions. So we are done with this. And here is our chicken. It's beautiful, isn't it? So if you like this recipe and you give it a try, please let me know. Your comments are appreciated. Any tips or tricks, tips or tricks, and any advice that you have, I'm here. If you have questions about anything that I cook, please comment below or you can shoot us an email. So don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and family. And please subscribe if you haven't already and help us build this channel. We have so much coming in store for you that I think you will enjoy. So I hope God blesses you to the fullest and until the next video, bye.